Campus Insiders is following a developing story out of Texas where two Longhorns players have been charged with felony sexual assault. Joined now by Dan Walken of USA Today. And Dan, who are the players and what happened? Yeah, Montrell Meander, a redshirt freshman wide receiver, and Kendall Sanders, who played last season significant minutes at wide receiver, both were arrested this morning for an incident that allegedly happened back in June. Uh, they have been immediately and properly permanently suspended from the Texas Longhorn football team. I doubt we'll see either of them again in a Longhorns uniform. Uh, if you read through the police report, and again, these charges uh, are, have not been proven. It's just an accusation at this point, but it's pretty ugly stuff, and Texas has responded uh, in a very serious manner. It's not been an easy start for Charlie Strong. He's had challenges to overcome with the quarterback and running back positions, now receiver. Should we lower the expectations even further for the Longhorns this year? Look, Charlie Strong has the Texas job because the last coach got fired. Everything was not perfect down in Austin, and so he was going to have significant challenges early on. The program didn't have anybody drafted into the NFL this past spring, which shows you sort of the talent level is down. Uh, there was a reputation that Texas had been soft, uh, that it was sort of a country club culture there in Austin, and Charlie Strong was brought in to change that. He's a tough-minded coach, and not everybody is going to uh, respond to that or want to get with the program, and then he's going to have to have some time to bring in his own guys. So there's no question that Texas, even though it's Texas, is probably not going to be in a position to compete for Big 12 titles for maybe a couple years. And suspending players, unfortunately, a painful part of the process for Charlie Strong. All right, Dan, thanks very much. No problem. For continuing updates of this story and more throughout the college sports world, keep it here to CampusInsiders.com.